expressions, code, math. Who do you think I am, Albert Einstein? If you don't have the time to learn the language of expressions, but you still want to reap from their benefits, then this is the video for you. These are what I think are the top 10 easy expressions to add to your workflow. So you have some keyframes and you're too lazy to make any more. Enter, loop out. First of all, to add an expression, on Mac, hold on to Option and on a PC, Alt, and then click the stopwatch for the property you want to add an expression to. Here you can add the code, and here you have a little equal sign that turns it on or off. Delete the default code it gives you, and in this case, we're going to type in loop out bracket quotation continue. Now you'll see the soccer ball is going to keep going from the last keyframe in the direction that I put it in. It has this curve. So now we have this soccer ball going down into the eternal abyss. Loop out quotation cycle. Now with this, we're going to go all the way to this keyframe and it's going to repeat over and over and over and over. Another loop out expression is ping pong. Now we're going to go back and forth, back and forth. A couple of invisible soccer players playing with a soccer ball. Kind of like the men's national soccer team. Last but not least in our loop out, offset, which is exactly what we need for this expression because we're going to have this ball bounce over and over. Goodbye ball. Thanks for coming. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle is maybe one of the first expressions that people learn. The first number here is the frequency and the second is the magnitude. But an easier way to remember that is how often and how much. It's what I say in my head every time I write it down. In this example, we have some old school footage here using the template from the Film Grain Builders Pack, which is a pack of over 50 assets you can mix and match to make the perfect grain. Dial it down to exactly how you want. In this instance, we're using the 1920s template that comes in the pack. You just drag and drop and everything's already there for you and you can just dial it as you see fit if you want to turn things off or turn them down, but I digress. So to make this footage look more authentically old under all these layers is to make it wiggle, just like old film footage does. So on our footage layer, I'm gonna hit P for position, option or alt click the stopwatch, wiggle, bracket, how often, so every five frames, and how much, let's say 20 pixels. So now it's wiggling, which is great. Usually film footage wiggles in a single direction. So if we don't want to go on both axes, we can use this alternate version of the expression. You can set it to be horizontal only or vertical only. Now you can copy and paste these expressions from a link in the description. Everything is laid out there for you for reference. You might even want to bookmark it so you can use it later down the road. I personally keep all these handy for when I need them at a moment's notice. I'm actually going to increase my frequency and decrease my magnitude. There she is. Number three, lasso to a slider. This is actually part one of the lasso, but we'll get to parts two and three later. Now using the same example, let's say I only want to start with a wiggle at the beginning and then I want it to dial down. Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click our layer, click effect, expression controls, slider control. Now here in our expression, we're gonna highlight the magnitude. Take our expressions pick whip and pick whip it to slider. The handy thing about this is it adds the expression in itself. All you need to use is the pick whip. So now we're gonna keyframe our slider. We're gonna start it at, let's try 50. Really big, and then we're gonna dial it down to five. There we go, bit of an abrupt start and down to a more gradual wiggle. Now one thing you may notice with expressions is sometimes when you move things around, the seed will reset. In other words, the random functions that it's adding in change. And if you've worked all your graphics around that, then just to see everything change to what you had planned it to be, it can be really frustrating. But there's a way you can bake these in. Wait, you say, that's not an expression. No, but it's just as important, so I'm counting it. To do this, we're gonna select the property you wanna bake. We're gonna go to animation, keyframe assistant, convert expression to keyframes. And now you'll see it's turned the expression off and turned everything into keyframes. If you want to undo this, the expression is still there. You just gotta kill the keyframes and turn it back on. The Ferris wheel effect. So you need to animate something like a Ferris wheel or a carousel. So you take all the cabins and you attach them to the wheel. You set your rotation up, give it one revolution, but then you play it back and realize everyone's fallen off the Ferris wheel. So what we need to do is we need to pull up our rotation, open up the expression editor. Now the default expression, we can delete transform and instead put dash parent. Now click that property, hit edit copy expression only, select the rest of your cabins, paste. So essentially we've parented these cabins to the Ferris wheel, but canceled out the rotation from the equation. Lasso part two, properties. So using a lasso, you can also link particular properties to other specific properties. Now when you attach a layer, you'll see you get the whole thing just glued to it like that. Obviously we have the same issue as before, but let's say now I want to imitate the rotation of this layer so that they're in sync, 
but I don't want it glued to it the way this is. So I'm gonna undo that parent. I'm going to bring down the rotation, hitting R. And our wheel, I'm gonna bring up the rotation, which has the keyframes. Now I'm going to option click rotation, click this pick whip and go to the rotation. And now when we play it through, they are linked and in sync. And again, as you can see here, the lasso has automatically added the proper expression to make this happen. Time. So with this expression, you can dial up a property value without needing any keyframes at all. So we got this shark, and let's say we just want him to spin for eternity. So I'm gonna go time, star, and then the higher the number, the more it increases. So let's say 300. And look, now he's just spinning forever. Go shark, go, you're free. Of course sharks don't do that. Sharks move in a straight line. Sharks can't swim backwards. Now this expression only works on this single value. So if I add it to position here, time, time 60, bam, we got this error. I hate seeing this error, but have no fear. Delete it. I'm gonna right click my position and separate dimensions. Now we have each of these values separated, the x-axis and the y-axis. So we're gonna add the expression here. Let's say 250. And there he is swimming like a champ. But he's underwater, so what can we do to make it look more watery? Let's add a distortion. Turbulent displace. Woo! Chill out, shark. Let's dial that down a bit. Now when you apply this, it's just a static displacement. You can't really see anything happening. But if we add the expression to evolution, let's add a pretty high number, like let's say 300. Now you'll see our evolution is just constantly increasing without any keyframes. Look at this little guy, no keyframes at all, pure expressions. I have created life with code. You may notice after adding something like the time expression, any keyframes you add become ineffective. Don't worry, just, just chill the f out, okay? Type plus and value after the expression. Now it'll see your keyframes. Every little thing is gonna be all right. I love you. Varial frame rates can be really effective. They help give your animation a real classic feeling. Movies like Enter the Spider-Verse and the Lego Movie take huge advantage of this, and you can too. Just add this expression to the value you want to affect. The frame rate you want to change it to. Semicolon, space, value, semicolon. And there it is. Lassoing to another comp. Are you tired of going in and out of your pre-comps to readjust things over and over? Then lasso your values expression from the pre-comp to the main comp, like the all-controlling creator that you are. <laughs> so first, let's make a null. I'm gonna name it controls. Add the expression effect that you want. In my case, I'm gonna add the color control. Let's say ship main. Click the lock button for that effect. Go into the pre-comp you need then link the value to that effect in your control null. Now everything you change here will be reflected in that bottom comp. You don't have to dig yourself back and forth between the pre-comps. The more layers you link to this null, the more control you can have. And obviously you can also adjust parameters like the scale with a slider control. And that's it. Bookmark the link in the description that has all these expressions laid out for you so you can quick reference them later and just copy paste. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video.